Jason Napolitano with the original sound version. Uh, hope you guys saw last week we kicked off the OSV channel. I had our first episode, introductory, long, um, announced a contest. And so I felt like recording um, another episode today. I was listening to some music this morning and figured, hey, you know, let's record an episode about that. And actually, I'm pretty pissed off because I just recorded this, what you're listening to right now, and my first try, it was absolutely perfect. And I left out one of the funniest stories about um, this artist that we're listening to here. So um, we're actually listening to Ken Hirai, and he's a male, um, one of the biggest male J-pop artists in Japan. It was actually only turned on to him back in June at the One Up Studios barbecue this year. I was at Dale's house, and he put on some videos and was showing me this guy, and I was like, wow, you know, he kind of has a pretty unique sound, and, uh, you know, um, came back home, went to book off, picked up a bunch of his albums, and loved the stuff. So I was listening to some of it this morning and figured, hey, I'm going to, you know, record a YouTube uh, video about this stuff because I think it's something that you know some of you guys might not be familiar with and maybe you know you like what you hear and uh, look into supporting him as well. So we're listening to Pop Star right now. It's his most uh, recent uh, album and it's the title track. The first song that I actually heard by this guy was uh, at Dale's house was this track here. It's called uh, Kimi wa Suteki and um, it's kind of got a different sound here. It's got a lot of uh, synthesizers, um, kind of a rock flair. Um, really interesting stuff with his voice. You can listen here for a second. <laughs> So I think this is my favorite song of his, and it's actually pretty different from anything that I've heard from him, and I have a couple of his albums. Um, another song here that Dale showed me, this one's actually a um, theme to a TV show, I'm not sure if it's on in Japan or what, but uh, the track's called Kian Basu, and um, it's kind of a more traditional pop track. Listen to that for a few seconds. <laughs> diverse. He actually has an album out called Ken's Bar where he sings in English American standards. And one of my favorite songs on there is uh, When You Wish Upon a Star, you know, the Disney song. So it's, it's actually a pretty good album. And I, I did want to show you this, this CD here that I picked up. Had a special order from Japan. It's the uh, Kian Basu single. And the reason I'm showing you this mainly is to make Dale jealous because he really wants this because it has like a piano version of Kian Basu. And this is the Kian Basu single and it has uh, both Kian Basu and uh, Kimi Wa Sudeki, the last song we heard, which are actually my two favorite songs of his. Um, so even though, you know, this probably isn't very hard to get in Japan, I think I special ordered for uh, $15 from the local bookstore here. I think it's 700 yen in Japan. It's not that big of a deal, but you know, it's something I really like having. Um, so yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, the whole male J-pop singer thing, and I'm kind of curious what you guys think about us covering J-pop on OSV. You know, I've kind of always planned on doing it, just there hasn't really been anything that I've followed that's uh, come up recently. So are you guys into this kind of stuff? Uh, are you guys familiar with any other male J-pop singers? It's kind of interesting. And so the story that I left out the first time I recorded this was actually um, when Norihiko Habino was in town, when we did that Blast Writer interview on OSV, 
um, we were driving in the car, and I was telling him, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I've been turned on recently to this artist, uh, Ken Hirai, and he kind of was quiet, he looked at me, he's like, wait, Ken Hirai? And I was like, yeah, Ken Hirai, you know, he's that male J-pop singer. And he's like, you like Ken Hirai? And my wife was in the car, and she said, uh, so what kind of people in Japan listen to him? Is it mostly like teenage girls and young girls and he's like yeah it's mostly who listens to it so it's kind of funny that uh you know daniel and i like this j-pop artist he's uh kind of like the teeny bopper thing here in the united states so uh, that was the funny story they left out i don't know if it was that great maybe i could have done without it but um pretty much that's all i have for you guys just wanted to show you guys some music and uh some j-pop that dale and i like and get your guys feedback on whether we should be covering this stuff um you know you can send us any ideas for coverage stuff we should be covering that you know maybe we missed out on and that's tips at originalsoundversion.com so um that's it this week and hopefully i'll see you guys soon uh, take care